All right, good morning, YouTube. Look, I know it's kind of on the off season, but what I want to do, and like I said, I know people will, they're going to quick to say sell out, but <clears throat> that's fine. But when I really find a product I like, I want to show you it. All right, and these are the Cool Joe shoes before the upgrades. Okay, you are for next. Look, in this video, it's kind of during the off season. I'm going to take these Cool Joe shoes, and let me show you. I'm going to take these Cool Joe shoes right here. Um, now, just so you know, they did send these to me. They're not paying me for this video, but these shoes were sent to me. And if you've been watching my videos the last few months, you've been seeing these videos on me wearing them on Instagram, me wearing them on YouTube, and it's really good shoes. But I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to actually take these shoes and I'm about to go walking in them. I'm going to use them as exercise shoes today. I, I'm, the shoes are so comfortable, guys, too. It's ridiculous. And let me show you this real quick. This is the, just the insert right here. This is the insole. All right. Nothing spectacular about it, but kind of see how it's made. Um, it feels of quality. doesn't feel cheap. All right. And this is the inside of the shoe. And you can see that stitching around. And these are size uh, 11. I think it was size 11. And you see the stitching in. Now, one thing, I, when I said upgrades earlier, when I went to GIE, you see these eyelet holes? I think the upgrade is going to actually be a whole lot bigger and stronger. And I think, don't quote me on it, made out of some type of metal or something so that the, the, the laces will be easier to, to lace up. One thing I will say about these shoes, when you get them, double knot these shoes when you tie them up so they'll stay together. And you get two laces. I think I got a pair of gray laces to go with these also. But today I'm just going to do some walking. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit my Apple Watch. And, um, hold on. I'm going to sit my Apple Watch for me to go walking. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do three miles, guys. Right now, like I say, it's 9.50 a.m. So let's go ahead and get this started and um, see how, how my feet feel after walking for probably i do mainly about 24 25 uh minutes per mile walking i'm not a runner guys i'm i'm, I'm a walker all right and we'll see how this works out all right just so you guys know i just have on a pair of work socks these duluth trading work socks right here non-sponsored um the original insole with the kujo shoes is going back in there and i'm just gonna tie them up and i'm gonna go walk all right guys i'm gonna Make sure ain't no dirt in these. Dirt in there. Stick these back in here. Okay guys, and normally before I get to walking, I'll go ahead and sit my Apple Watch right there. Sit it on. You see that outdoor walking? They should have like lawn care on here, but they don't. So click that and we are ready to start walking. Alright. And this grass got that morning dew in it. I'll, I'll walk in it just, just so you can see, guys. Oh, my shadow went away. But this, this video is not to try to sell some shoes, even though I will have an affiliate link at the end of this video. But this video is just to show you how durable these shoes. Let me turn this way so the sun can be on it. And there's no water getting into it. And um, let's see, we've walked 88 feet so far. We got a lot more to go. So check it out, guys. 
all right guys so while i'm out here walking i'm gonna show you some things that i would do if this was my yard if i was a landscaper i would cut all this underbrush from up under here especially in a walking path but especially around a tree all that i would just trim off uh, and this pine straw i would that would be a pine straw bed i'll make sure i blow all of that and you can see how the acidity and the shade's killing that grass right there all right that's one thing i would do Let's see what else i'm doing there oh, is that a leaf on there i'm gonna just leave that leaf on there so you can see <laughs> see it throughout the journey guys just stay with me in this video is you know lawn care has kind of slowed down so I'm trying to just give you content that's still valuable that you can use now if you hear me <sighs> Eh, talking like that that means i'm getting tired but um something else out here let me see if i find anything else while i'm out here walking okay guys another thing i would do is treat for ant mounds guys don't let those ant mounds stay in your yard forever now one a myth about ant mounds is sometimes people think that ant mounds excuse me that the ants die during the winter ants typically don't die what they do is they go deeper into the soil when it gets really really cold and they go into a, like a dormancy stage where they're just sitting there inactive now i'm not the antologist I, I don't know if that's you know something but <laughs> when they're down there they just have the uh I guess all that sugars and whatever store it up. I don't know, guys. Look it up. But ants, they don't typically die. So that's why I still say you got to treat for them and make sure that you uh, try to get rid of them throughout the season. Me, typically, I, I do three applications. One in the spring, early spring, one in the summer, and one in either early or mid-fall late fall in some places if you still have higher temps if you see ant mounds in your yard and that are actively growing you can still treat them i don't care how cold it is you just got to read the instructions on how to do it all right guys still getting this walk on i'm just going to point out some stuff as i go along stay with me cujo shoes are still with me still comfortable and i've walked a staggering 0.25 of a mile <laughs> guys let me show you this also when you typically when you buy a house all right and if the trees are already there then it is what it is but i would not buy a house and plant huge trees in front of my house if my concern is about my bermuda grass because those trees and you can see it guys they produce a lot of leaves that's a lot of work they thin out the lawn and over a period of time the bed around the tree you're gonna have to make it bigger so you can cover up get basically the grass is not gonna grow around the canopy of the trees the lower the canopy the the, the more messier the grass is gonna look thin and worn out so just just something to bear in mind you see a lot of these that don't have trees some do um some of these codes require they remove so many trees they got to replant so many trees fortunately on my property i got a ton of trees in the back and on the right side of my house so they didn't have to replant any um i love trees we need these trees too we need them for oxygen they take in the carbon dioxide and they put off oxygen um, especially when you live where airplanes are constantly flying by. Airplane like it's about to crash. Hope not, because I don't want to be recording that. But you can see the mess. You can see how they had they gotta make a pine straw bed or some kind of bed. And even with that, don't put pine straw in there in the wintertime or late fall, and you see all those leaves are gonna fall on top of it because you're wasting your money. And leaves in general, just not a good idea. Not a good idea. 
Okay, you are Fanax, and I want to show you this right here. Every what well, everybody don't know, but that's spurge right there, guys. You see these curb cracks right here, guys. This is the another spot right there. You need to what I would do, what I would suggest is that you weed eat those out. Okay. Um now this is where it get controversial. <sighs> Technically, you're not supposed to spray those areas with a herbicide that's going to wash down the drain so i'll let you make that decision because if i say do it then i'm not going to be doing the community any justice and you're going to have the trolls and the discord groups to go get this part of the video and try to discredit you so what i suggest and you know who you are the people you know what i mean by discord not for the people that normally just looking for lawn care it's more or less like other creators if it's windy out here guys i'm sorry but they go into these groups and they end up listening to the person running the group and they become brainwashed because they can't think for themselves and they start buying into the other person's ideas when you generally got into it to do your own lawn care stuff now you become a crony or a flunky and you help spread the word. That's off topic, but what I was suggesting, here's some other areas too. Who just shoes still doing good? What I would suggest is for you to get a uh, vinegar mix. And I got a video for that. Guys, it should be a link in the and the eye up there that you can click on and it'll show you how to take natural vinegar and spray in these areas without using harmful homicide, I mean not homicide, <laughs> harmful herbicides because you're gonna kill some stuff in those areas right there. So that's another thing right there. And guys, I hadn't really walked that far, but it is what it is. All right, so let's let's see some other stuff. Okay, guys, I want to show you this area right here too. Guys, do you see these mailboxes? All right, they're called CBUs. CBU, cluster box units. When you move into a new subdivision, more than likely, I'm trying to get that sunlight. Out. More than likely, that uh, you're gonna have those. Now, fortunately, I, I, my house, my home came with a mailbox. All right. And some of you guys are wondering why, because that's the new post office mandate that newer subdivisions, you have to have these CBUs, at least here in my state. And most states are like that. So that's why you see those cluster box units. The only thing I hate about them is you gotta, you gotta try to get there. Whereas my house, I just walk out and get the mail out the mailbox. Whole lot easier for the mailman because he ain't got to get out. But it's going to be easier to sell too probably because when I put my house on the market, I'm going to advertise I got a mailbox. So a lot of people will buy into that and get the house because of a mailbox. How the Cujo shoes going? Good on the feet, guys. I'm approaching the mile. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm approaching the mile and uh, we still out here walking just looking at some of the stuff in my neighborhood. Generally, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Like on the weekends and on the weekends and uh, late in the evening, like fives. Well, maybe not now because it's getting dark. But generally about five, six, seven, it's always people walking in my neighborhood. Uh, a couple of them got dogs. They walk their dogs and stuff. And about that, if you got dogs, let them use the bathroom in the common area. And what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Them little areas off on the side that's really not nobody's property. And bring your doggy bag. Pick that shit up. Because it's unfair for a person to have a home. And you're walking your dog. And you bring your dog to their property to their mailbox to take a piss or a crap and you leave it there because my thing is you could have brought your dog in your own yard to do that you know i don't 
I, oh, I got a video for that too, man. I hate that. I hate that. Maybe that video is up in the eye also. You can click on that later on or just watch this video to the end. And like I said, this unformatted, nothing spectacular about it. BYD out here walking in Cujo, <laughs> Cujo wear shoes. And I'm the, the reason I'm doing it is just to see how comfortable, well, they really tell you how comfortable these shoes are and the durability of them. I've been tearing them up for about a month and a half, almost two months. And um, they still hold up. These shoes are lightweight, uh, comfortable. I, I normally I had to replace the insole on mine, but I haven't replaced the insole on these. Now, when I went to GIE and I talked to the lady there, she said that they were beefing up the, the soles and in the insole of the shoe. Because BYD is heavy duty, guys. I'm out here walking trying to shed a few pounds you know trying to get down to byd junior size I, i'm just kidding but <clears throat> to take a pair of basically work shoes and go walking in them something to be said about that so let's keep walking and here's another thing to consider too you see this tree it's on this property that's your house if i was a neighbor i would talk to this neighbor and try to figure out how we can get that tree cut down because if that tree falls, the chances are it's gonna fall on that house because it's already leaning that way and it's a big cliff right there. So that's another thing to consider when buying homes or planting trees. When you plant a tree, make sure, let me see if I can give you an example. If that tree is supposed to get 40 feet tall, okay, I would make sure that tree is at least about 50 to 55, 60 feet away from the house. The reason, if it goes timber, you got at least 10 to 20 feet for it not to hit your house. And more than likely, it's not going to fall perfectly. It's going to lean over and grow some extra feet of footage. So keep that in mind too. Guys, and I made numerous suggestions about those right there. Those yard signs should, oh, here go another piece of paper. Uh, I don't know what that is. But those yard signs, guys, by law, the company has to put it there. All right, depending on what state you're in, all laws are different. So take it with sort of a grain of salt, but don't leave them in the yard until they come for the next application six weeks later. Most of the time you had to leave them there between three days and a week, I think. Check your local laws, not to pro at that, expert at that. So stay out, stay out the comments with that dumb stuff. But uh, you've been warned. But yeah, don't, don't leave them there, it's tacky. It's tacky, and this, this video is gonna hurt some. Oh, this yard looks good. Look, it looks good. So they cut it, didn't scalp it, but it looks good. I like that. Look at that. Now, the reason I'm, I keep putting emphasis on it because look what we're about to walk into. This yard needs to be cut. I'm not saying scalp it. You need to shape it up. Bermuda grass is the alpha. Now you see why. But it hasn't been edged up or cut in a minute. You know. So, yeah. Cut your yard even during the winter. Winter does not fall in the winter. does not mean stop servicing the yard. It does not mean that. But some people do. How the Cujo shoes doing, Mike? Cujo shoes doing good doing good all right so let me show you this too real quick i'm not gonna walk in a yard but you see that bump right there that's an ant mound that's unchecked now grass is growing on top of it now you're gonna have a little hill with grass in it. this yard 
too, is littered with them. Treat the ant mound, guys. <laughs>